all these qualities add love, which binds all things together in perfect unity. Please remain standing for the invocation led by Mr. Tim Greener, Superintendent of Christian Academy School System. Please pray with me. Fathers, we gather to celebrate today. We're so grateful for the fact that we can teach your truth and your word on a daily basis to the students at Christian Academy of Indiana. Father, we're also grateful for what you did for each one of us. And as we present these graduates this morning, as we give them their diplomas, our hope is that they will leave here with hearts for you. Bless us now as we celebrate together as a family. We ask these things in your name.
Wow, that's beautiful. I guess I'll know what I'll be singing the rest of the day as well. So. Well, parents, family, and guests, it's an honor to be here this morning to celebrate the accomplishments of your children. It's been a privilege to serve you this year, and it's been a real blessing to get to know each of the members of the senior class. Seniors, I count it as a blessing for my five years at Kai. I've got to see you grow, come together as a class, and, if you, and you have made such a big impact on our school. I would like to brag, brag on this group for just a moment, though. Our mission statement is to develop students with a heart for God, who grow as Jesus did in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and men. And yes, all of them were just mouthing that. You couldn't see that. But the key words of that mission statement is wisdom, stature, and favor. So when we look at wisdom, that first strand, we correlate that to academics. And these 64 students were offered $2,250,622 in scholarships. And they will go so hang on. They're going to be attending 25 universities and colleges. The military are beginning their careers. The second strand of that, that mission statement is stature. And that kind of refers to skills and, and abilities. This group had many athletic accomplishments in setting school, team, and individual records. In fine arts, we had numerous community art projects uh, and awards, and some of our highest band and choir marks in a school at state competitions. And they have led us in some wonderful drama productions. The last strand is in favor of God and man. And that can be characterized as servant leadership. This class had 6,006 ,006 hours of community service in their last four years of school. In our community and around the world, we are very proud of you. At this time, we would like to honor several students for outstanding performance. We have a nickname for students that have been at Kai for all 13 years of their education, which is kindergarten through graduation. They're called lifers. And the standing joke is that it's positive that it's not a prison term sentence. <laughs> lifers have a unique bond as they've literally grown up together and have a lot of common experiences. They even describe themselves as siblings at times. As parents of lifers, we appreciate and we know the sacrifices and checks that you have written over these years for your children to be a kind. Thank you for allowing us to partner uh, with you, and thank you for supporting Christian Academy's mission. Students, as I call your name, please come and receive a small token of our appreciation for your commitment to Christian Academy. Kevin Ballou. Kobe Bannon. Lindsay Bilkey. <laughs> Madeline Brown. Cameron Birdsall. Elizabeth Kahn. Brayden Conrad. Rebecca Dyke. <laughs> Levi Doty. Zach Gonzalez. Graham Gregory. Evan Heights.
Megan Hunt. Ryan Hurst. Wyatt Urban. Carly Jamison. Grant Cockbrenner. Lexi Lester. Julia Lowstutter. Devin Milky. <laughs> Ashley Moffat. <laughs> Alex Miles. Abigail Nash. Angel Ann Raymer. And Max Samorian. Give them a more round of applause. The Christian Academy of Indiana Student Council actively demonstrates leadership and service throughout the school community. It is out of this spirit of leadership and service that the Student Council Scholarship was born. This scholarship honors a graduating senior who has consistently demonstrated the characteristics of a servant leader. This year's Student Council Leadership and Service Scholarship recipient has been involved, served, and led in several areas. She has served in our National Honor Society as a worship band leader, yearbook editor-in-chief, participated in multiple mission trips, and several other school organizations. Her volunteer work demonstrates her caring heart, and she does whatever is needed and always with a humble spirit. It is our privilege to present the Student Council Leadership and Service Scholarship to Ms. Lexi Lester. The Kai Theater Department strives to glorify God throughout the students' varying talents while allowing students the opportunity to lead and serve in the program. In fact, many refer to the cast and crew as their theater family, and we hope all involved feel that way. The department honors one graduating senior with a $1,000 scholarship. The scholarship goes to a senior who is a member of the Thespian Society, been involved in at least four shows during high school, either acting or staging them and has exemplified a Christ-like character and concern for all the cast and show. This year's recipient was chosen because of her hard work and Christ-like attitude during the multitude of shows she was a part of all four years of high school. She was always willing to do what was asked of her, show great leadership, and a servant's heart to all in the cast and crew. The Kai Theater Scholarship recipient is Ms. Carly Jamison.
the Warrior Four Miler Scholar Athlete Scholarship. This $1,000 scholarship goes to one female and one male student athlete that best embodies of who we are and who God is calling us to be, and who possesses the attributes of a Kai Warrior Scholar Athlete. First, a warrior, who is a person who fights in battles and is known for having courage and skill. Two, a scholar, a learned or erudite person, especially one who has profound knowledge of a particular subject. And three, an athlete, a person trained or gifted in exercises or contests involving physical agility, stamina, and strength. Our female recipient has participated in soccer, basketball, cross country, and track, and has been among the most consistent competitors at the state level all four years of high school. She holds six school records, eight sectional titles, five regional titles, and the highest point scorer of all time, bell or female, at Kai for track and field. Historically, she will be remembered as one of the greatest female distance runners ever in Floyd County in Southern Indiana. Her coach says, quote, Not only is she a great athlete, but an even better person. Her love of the Lord and bringing honor to Him is reflected in the way that she competes. This year's female Warrior Four Miler Scholar Athlete is Miss McKenna Cavanaugh. running later this evening in the state finals. Good luck. Our male recipient coach said this about his nominee. He has a confidence in his skills and God-given ability to battle anyone. And this year has, quote, had one of the greatest single seasons any of our athletes have ever had. Individually, combined, he has won three sectional titles, two regional titles, two semi-state titles, and has been a two-time state medalist. And as of last night, the state were in the 3200. This past track season, he has been ranked in the top 10 nationally in the 3rd 200 meters. Additionally, he's involved in the National Honor Society, a class officer, and earned a 3.94 GPA while doing all of that. This year's male warrior four-miler scholar athlete is Mr. Caleb Butter. The Kay Barber Scholarship was established in 2015 in honor of Ms. Kay Barber, an individual of true Christian faith and love. Mrs. Barber established Graceland Christian School in 1969 with 11 students. She passionately pursued Christian education in Southern Indiana for the next 42 years, including as an administrator with Christian Academy of Indiana. A one-year scholarship award of $2,500 for one girl and one boy toward college tuition is presented based on the following criteria. Attended Kai all four years of high school, have a minimum of 3.0 high school GPA, and be an exemplary student in regards to possessing a distinctive Christian character, conduct, and school participation. This year marks the 50th anniversary of Ms. Barber starting the first kindergarten class here at Grayson Baptist Church. And she's here with us tonight, standing right over here, sitting right over here. We give her a big thank you. The female recipient of the K. Barber Harper God Scholarship plans on attending Western Kentucky University this fall. She states, Christian Academy has been the only school that I have known. Every day, since preschool, my teachers have shared the gospel with me in word and deed. She has been very active at Kai in multiple facets and involved in serving Christian Academy and her church community. Her pastor remarks, she takes seriously her study of scriptures and demonstrates a strong spiritual maturity and love of God. She plans to major in special education where she says she can honor God by serving my students. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Carly Jamison. The male recipient of the K. Barber Heart for God Scholarship plans to attend the University of Louisville this fall and major in psychology. He says that, quote, Christian Academy has molded me into the individual I am today through a myriad of transformative means. He has been involved in both athletics and the fine arts programs at Kai, along with serving as church and community. His youth minister writes, I don't come across many high school boys like him when it comes to honesty and accountability. 
In her honorees essay, he mentions that, quote, I plan to become a doctor of psychiatry and thereby proliferate the love of Christ with which Kai has made me so familiar. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Kobe Bannett. The mission of Christian Academy is to develop students with a heart for God who grow as Jesus did in wisdom, stature, and in favor of God and man. Thanks, guys. Therefore, we have asked one senior to share their testimony and how Kai has helped them grow. Please welcome senior Lexi Lester. Dared nothing, in the end, 
nothing will be what you have gained. So, class of 2019, I encourage you to live boldly. Be bold in doing God's will and continuing on the path that he has put you on, even through hardships and struggles. 2 Timothy 1.7 states, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Do not live to be comfortable, and don't fall into complacency. We each have a boundless amount of potential, and we all have the gifts and talents to make it a monumental impact on the world around us. As we have learned by how quickly our time here at Kai has flown, life is way too short to not live with intentionality and purpose. Class of 2019, ahead of us is life. It is the people we will meet, and the places that we will go, and the dreams that we hope to fulfill. It is the joys and the sorrows and the laughter and the tears that we're guaranteed to experience. Let us live it boldly with no regrets. Let us live our lives in faith and let God move in every circumstance that we are in. And let us dare to say yes. Salutorian is an academic title given to the second highest ranking student in a graduating class. Please welcome Eunice Song to the podium for her salutorian address. Good morning. I'm Eunice Song and I'd like to thank all the families, teachers, friends, and other special guests for being here with us this morning as we celebrate Kai's graduating class of 2019. It is certainly a blessing to us seniors at Christian Academy of Indiana to have received such support and love throughout all the years up to this very day. Without your assistance, we will not be the same people as we are today. Without your encouragements, we will not have had the courage to attempt new things or endure difficult situations. You are the ones who help us to discover our passion and help us realize how much God is continuously working in our lives. So thank you. I remember... I remember the night before the first day of school, laying in bed, worrying, what should I do? But those worries were useless, because once I adjusted to Kai, it gave memories and friends, making it hard to say goodbye. During the 720 days of high school in total, countless events happened, some fun, some miserable. From nervously checking new classes we'll take, to struggling with senioritis, where we were longing for a break. From being excited realizing it's domino say, to waiting for an email saying two hour delay. <laughs> From seeing peers during a fire drill give children their blankets, to eating the hottest pepper for 10 extra credits. <laughs> These years that we experienced, whether pleasant or not, allowed us to make discoveries that money could not have bought, such as relationships, Christian belief, knowledge, and passion, all that God placed in our lives for a good reason. Regardless of the stress these years might have created, it's true that we are different from when we first started. Did you know that the number one regret of hospital patients is having lived life based on others' expectations? I think this fact is worth it to mention, since it helped me examine my motive when making life decisions. When talking about overcoming others' expectations, I think of Noah who built an ark at God's command, and how people ridiculed him because they didn't understand. What if we followed the crowd in that moment saying, maybe, these people are right about this massive art and I'm crazy. Like Noah, we also may have goals that others think are foolish, but we should strive to make our dream come true to live a life we cherish. No matter how often others object, living our dream is worthwhile, but living to meet what others expect will not be worth the trial. The various talents our class have are truly fascinating like in music, sports, art, acting, public speaking, or leading. With different skills, different passions, we are so unique. It makes sense that we have different goals we each want to seek. Along with aiming to use these skills solely for God's own glory, we can use them to impact a part of this world and build our own story. As this is our last time gathered all together, it is bittersweet, but I also am eager, because I really want to see where we all are from where we all go from here and change the communities we each live near. The years that Kai are over, but surely we learned a thing or two, which can benefit us in life as we use them to carry through. As Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. So 
let's see what God has in store for us wherever it may lead. So to all the seniors sitting here, what a ride it has been. I think we, de I think we deserve to rejoice the success we have made with a grin. So now, to all of us facing our own past that no one has ever seen, <coughs> it's my pleasure and honor to say congrats class of 2019. The valedictorian is the academic title given to the highest ranking student in a graduating class. Abigail Nash will now deliver her valedictorian address to the class. Hours, or 982,800 minutes. However you want to look at it, that is 
spends a lot of time together. Others have become friends more recently, but are welcomed into the family just the same. The time we have spent together, whether it be 13 years or less, has left us with memories and friendships that we will look back at on. Through field trips and class parties in elementary school, doing the cha-cha slide every day before Miss Smith's class in the sixth grade, dominating almost every event in high school, amazing plays, concerts, and athletic victories, the memories our class has made together as a family will last a lifetime. All of these things that we have done, whether on the stage, on the court, on the field, on the track, on the course, or in the classroom, have made us who we are today. Friends, but more importantly, family. I pray we did it for the right purpose. I pray we did it well. When I look back on senior walkout, I believe we did. We begin the next chapter of our lives together, but we'll quickly take different courses. Whether you're entering the workforce, joining the military, going to college, or have not yet decided where you're headed, I want to encourage each of you to keep running towards the ultimate prize. There will be difficult things ahead and tough choices to make. Let's not become so focused on grades, relationships, dream jobs, or other things in this world that we forget the goal of our journey. As we enlist others for the race, may we remember that without Christ, these things are meaningless. But with Him, we will see the purpose for each of our lives. Let's live our lives in pursuit of Him. Let's all finish strong and be lifers together in the end. Congratulations, friends. I can't wait to see where God leads us. Mr. Greener, I have learned that these candidates have met all academic requirements set by the state of Indiana and the standards set forth by the Christian Academy Board of Directors for high school graduation. On behalf of the administration and the Board of Directors, I accept these candidates. As we prepare for the introduction of the graduates, I would like to remind everyone of graduation decorum. Watching our children grow and develop the last 18 years has led to this celebration that culminates in a two-second reading of each name. We ask that you please limit your expression of celebration to applause when your graduate is announced. Yelling out phrases or names could lead to stepping on the instant when someone else's two seconds to hear their name is read. Thank you. Parents would also like to ask that you would please stand when your child's name is called. This will allow you to share in this honor along with getting that all-important photo. <laughs> Graduates, are you ready? Abigail Jo Nash. Kevin Anthony Ballou. <clears throat> Jacoby Donald Bannett. Lindsay Neil Bilkey. <laughs> Sierra Nicole Blanton.
Daniel Joseph Bosing. Madeline Jane Brown.
감사합니다. 
Before our benediction, we want to present Mrs. Brown with a small token of our appreciation and a big thank you for her service. Dee Dee was instrumental in starting our PTO at Kai and has served as president for 14 years. Since Madeline is graduating, Dee Dee is passing the PTO leadership torch. Dee Dee, we can't thank you enough for your talents and your skills and your service. Can you please bow? Father God, we come before you today with a heart of gratitude for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. We are grateful for a school at Christian Academy where your name is praised on a daily basis. We are grateful for faculty and teachers who pour into our students and nurture them to grow closer to you. We are grateful for parents, grandparents, and family who provide Christian homes filled with love, respect, and honor. But most importantly, on this day specifically, we are grateful for this group of graduating seniors who have a heart of God for God and have grown in wisdom, stature, and favor as they completed their education at Christian Academy. It is our prayer today, as they leave high school and our homes, that they will continue to grow and know you more deeply. Be with them as they encounter new peers, professors, and work colleagues. Let the witness of Christ always shine bright through them. Give these students wisdom and patience as you lead them into adulthood and down the path that you have prepared for them. They would speak your name boldly and walk in righteousness. We pray that the Holy Spirit would be their counsel and that your word would forever be etched on their hearts. Thank you, God, for allowing us as parents the privilege to witness such precious years of childhood memories. And we look forward to new opportunities of adventures, memories, growth as they start this new season of life. Father, you are to be praised for all that we have and all that we are. Let each of us remember this as we head our separate ways, knowing that whoever crosses our paths, they will encounter you. It is in the name of Jesus we pray all these things. To you be the glory forever. Amen.